Have you ever taken measures to get healthy that you thought were safe, like taking antibiotics or getting an x-ray, only to find out that some of these things could, in fact, be putting you at risk? Well, today, it's a double dose of doctor in a special segment we are calling Ask the Doctor with my good friend, Dr. Frida Lewis-Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, we're answering your burning questions and letting you know if you're in the safety zone or the danger zone. Our first question is from Maya in the audience. You're Maya, right? Yes. Okay, so what's your question? I have a hard time swallowing pills, so sometimes I crush them. But a friend of mine told me that I shouldn't do that. Is she right? Since she's a real doctor, uh, I'll, let, I'll let you answer the question since this is medical. I know the answer to this, yeah. but I'll let you tell. So my, I have to say to Maya, I think her friend might be right. Yeah. And here's why. Um, many medications, both over-the-counter medicines and prescription medications, um, are not intended to be cut, chewed, or crushed. And the reason is some are designed to release certain amounts of the active ingredient in the medicine out into the body over time. Others of them are specifically coded in order to protect the stomach from irritation. So when you alter medication in any way, like Maya's described, then you can end up delivering more medicine to the body faster than expected. You can end up with unexpected side effects, and sometimes you can even lead to an overdose doing it that so way. So what's the best way to find out how she should actually take her medication? You should talk to your doctor, to the nurse, or to the pharmacist to make sure that it's being done correctly. And also, when you get your medications, there's um, uh, directions that are written on a drug label um, that's right there so that you really understand all of the instructions. For Maya or others who have problems actually swallowing pills, talk to the doctor or to the pharmacist. Sometimes there's an alternative that's available, like a liquid formulation or something like that. And people who can't swallow pills may face a mental barrier. If you think you're getting ready to gag, for example, you got to really think your way through it. So, but thanks for your question. Don't crush your pills. Uh, next, we've got a video from Cynthia in Encino, California. Let's take a look at her question. My question is, I've never broken a bone in my life, but I recently had a really bad break to my tailbone just by sitting down. And I'm wondering, are my bones getting brittle? I don't want my menopause to be a pain in the butt for me, literally. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let's take a look at that x-ray again. L yeah. Look at this and tell us what's going on here. Yeah. So this is the coccyx bone, and it is supposed to come straight down, but as you can see here, um, it's bent back pretty good. Wow. So what's she going to do about that? Well, what's going on with Cynthia specifically, her health care team is going to um, need to work through. Interestingly, women are at greater risk for injuring this bone. The shape of our pelvis exposes this bone and, and puts it at risk for various injuries. So many people don't realize or don't remember that bone is a living tissue, that constantly over time is being broken down and new bone is, is replacing it. Now, osteoporosis happens when the pace of laying down new bone can't keep up with the pace of bone being broken down and removed. So um, women around the time of menopause can often experience an accelerated loss in this bone mass. If you're of Caucasian or Asian descent, you're at increased risk. And if you have a small body frame, that can also put you at risk, as well as smoking, taking certain medications, and having a family history of osteoporosis. They get to a certain age where bone is breaking down and deteriorating faster than it's regenerating. How do you prevent the, lo the so, loss? So there are a few things. First of all, I mentioned smoking. If you smoke, stop. And also diet and exercise, not surprisingly, play an important role. And remembering to include calcium and vitamin D is very important. And weight-bearing exercises, we believe, helps um, in preventing osteoporosis. Right. You want to do wellness checks uh, frequently, especially around the menopause time. And the recommendation is that women at around 65 should get an initial bone density screening to get a baseline, um, and they should get that earlier if they are at risk. All right, so thanks for your question, Cynthia. Next, we have an email from Cam in Tallahassee, Florida. She writes, uh, hello, doctor. If I have a 10-day dose of antibiotics, but I feel better after taking them for 
a few days, can I stop taking the medication? We should all answer that one yeah. together, right? No. No, no, Cam, no. <laughs> You should definitely not stop your medication, any medication, but in particular these antibiotics, without talking to your doctor first. So you may feel better, but that doesn't mean you are better. And this is really, really important for a couple of reasons. First of all, the infection can come back on you. Now, that's of course, if you're not experiencing symptoms that you think are side effects of the medicine. Right, of if course. you are, of course, call your doctor and talk to them and see if you want to stop the medicine. The second reason to not stop is antibiotic resistance. And what happens here, the antibiotics are meant to kill off the bacteria. And it may kill them down. If you don't take all of them, it may not kill all of them. And what happens, the next time you or someone else needs that medicine, it means that my antibiotic might not work. You just have to do the full course. And I, I, so I wanna thank you for your question. Uh, we've had some really good information here today, and uh, you answer these kind of questions all the time on the site, right? Yeah, well, you can go on to get healthy, stay healthy, and there's information there. And uh, while you're there, if you want to, you can sign up for the newsletter, um, right. which means that some of that information and tips uh, come to you. Right. That's gethealthystayhealthy.com. I want to thank all of my guests today, especially right. Dr. Frieda Lewis-Hall. Will you come back soon? Absolutely. All right. We'll Absolutely. see you next time. Thank you Thanks so much. much.